Some artists say that watercolor is the hardest medium to learn. Unlike acrylic or gouache or oil paints wherein you can just paint over your mistakes, with watercolor, there's no going back. Pag nagkamali ka, walang atrasan. Plus, sometimes it feels like the water has a mind of its own. Hindi mo alam kung ano yung mangyayari. Medyo nakaka-intimidate pag ganun, di ba? Don't worry though, because we have some good news for you. If you're an aspiring beginner watercolor artist, then this video is for you. Stick around until the very end because we will talk about the top 3 misconceptions that's holding you back from learning watercolors and unleashing your artistic potential. We've worked with nearly 200 beginner watercolor artists and we've seen them grow really fast. Yung tipong nag-start lang sila ng kindergarten elementary school level and then after a few months, sometimes weeks lang ay, napapa, wow, ang galing ko pala mag watercolor. Never knew I had this hidden artistic talent na sila. Grab it, diba? If you're interested in learning the basics, learning how to paint florals, landscapes, and portrait watercolors so you can de stress, learn a new skill, fulfill your artistic goals and dreams, then we invite you to hop on a consultation call with us. We'll see if you qualify to join our online watercolor painting course. You'll be working with pro watercolor artists, Sir Ian De Jesus and Sir John Lapore, who have a combined experience of nearly 20 years. Years. Also, you'll be learning together with a supportive community of fellow aspiring watercolor artists. Ready ka na ba? Just click the link in the description to book a call with our team. Can't wait to speak with you! A common misconception about artists is that they were born talented. Sure, baka meron talagang mga tao that are naturally inclined to draw or paint, but they don't become great artists overnight. Remember this. Art is a skill that you can develop. Even if feeling mo wala kang talent, kailangan masipag ka lang talaga. The problem is that most beginners try watercolor painting and then give up na. Tapos ayun, feeling nila, art is not for me. Aww. Alam mo kung yung tawag doon? Unrealistic expectations. It takes months, years, even decades to be really good at your craft. Alam mo ba that one of the greatest artists ever, Vincent Van Gogh, didn't actually start practicing art seriously until he was 27 years old? I'm 27 years old. I've no money and no prospects. I'm already a burden to my parents. Before that, naging pastor pa nga siya. But it didn't work out and his brother influenced him to try out art again. That's when his art journey really started and sinuryoso na talaga yung art. Actually, Van Gogh was never formally trained in art. So, ano yung ginawa niya para gumaling siya? He studied and copied art by other famous artists that came before him. Naghanap siya ng mga artsy friends. He learned together with them. They'd critique each other's works and then they'd push each other to become even better artists. But most of all, he would just paint and paint and paint. Like Van Gogh, Hindi mo kailangan maging natural born prodigy to learn and enjoy or even get good at painting. Whenever we hear people say, I like art, but art doesn't like me. Usually, kulang lang yan sa guidance and practice. Don't compare your day one to someone's day 1000. If gusto mo talaga matuto ng watercolor painting, then you have to learn to be patient. Practice consistently, kahit feeling mo pangit. Don't worry, gagaling ka din. If you actually give yourself a chance, you'll see yourself grow and improve as an artist. We've spoken to hundreds, maybe even thousands of aspiring watercolor artists. And whenever we ask them, what's holding you back? Alam mo sagot nila, too busy, no time, ang daming ginagawa. Honestly, it's not about not having time. It's about making time. Diba, lahat naman tayo, magkapareho naman na may 24 hours in a day. So bakit yung iba, magagaling na mag watercolor? Tapos tayo, hanggang pangarap pa lang din. It's because those amazing watercolor artists you admire, they've made time for their art. They've made time to practice. Of course, we have a lot of priorities in life. Akads, family, work. But when will you ever make time for you? Time for your passion. Time for your artistic goals. 
We've met people that have wanted to learn watercolor painting and then nakakailang years na. 75 years later. <laughs> Those that chose to finally start learning, alam mo ano yung sinasabi nila? If not now, then when? Sabi pa nga ng isang student namin. I realize that there will never be a perfect time for this. If I wait for it, then wala na talagang mangyayari. Humans are naturally programmed to stick with what's familiar. May routine tayo eh. On top of that, there's also a lot of fear that stops us. Paano if I start and don't continue? Paano if I try, tas pangit pa din? Well, paano if you start and you succeed? Paano if you keep practicing and finally gumaling ka na sa watercolor painting? We're the ones stopping ourselves from achieving greatness. The thing is, we've worked with super busy people. Pero nakaya naman nila. Natuto sila ng watercolor despite their busy schedules. If there is a will, there is a way. You choose how you want to spend your precious time. If feeling mo, it's worth it to finally learn watercolor painting, to learn how to paint portraits of your family, of people you love, of landscapes and sceneries of the places you've traveled to. If you think it's worth it to learn how to express your feelings and find a creative outlet for your stress and worries, then pick up your paintbrush and make time for it. When I was younger, I'd always blame my ugly paintings on my cheap art supplies. Mura lang kasi, pag may pro-grade brushes or watercolor set, tignan ninyo. Gaganda din yung paintings ko. That's what I thought. I couldn't have been more wrong. Kahit nagkapera na ako and I bought more expensive supplies, hindi pa rin gumanda yung paintings ko. Before we continue, let's have an activity. Let's look at these two watercolor pieces. Can you tell which one of these were made with student-grade watercolors? Is it A or B? Ready ka na for the answer? Actually, these were both made with student-grade watercolor and by the same person. These watercolor paintings were done by your student Jolaine just five months apart. Same person, same paint, same brushes. But if you notice, there's actually an improvement in her painting skills between month one and month five. So yung tanong, bakit si Jolaine gumaling kahit student grade watercolors lang? And ako na nag-upgrade sa mas mamahaling supplies, hindi pa rin gumaling. What's the real secret to creating stunning watercolor paintings? Yung sagot, it's consistent practice. Kahit mamahalin yung gamit mo, if hindi ka mag-practice, then hindi ka rin gagaling. We're so used to instant solutions, especially in this day and age na sanay na tayo sa instant gratification. So feeling natin, if we buy expensive art supplies, we instantly become better artists. Tas ang ironic because we barely even want to use those expensive supplies kasi nga, mahal di ba? So we want to save them, we want to make them last longer, hanggang nakalimutan na lang. Collecting dust and maybe even eventually expiring. FYI, guys, nag expire yung watercolor paper if you don't use them, ha? So as mentioned, if you really want to get better, the solution is not expensive art supplies. We've worked with a lot of beginner watercolor artists who use 200, 300 peso watercolor sets, and they make it work. With time and practice, they were able to make stunning landscapes, florals, and portraits. When they started, ang dami ding insecurities. Nag-worry, nag-overthink, nag-struggle sa self-doubt, but they learned how to do everything step by step. One of our students' biggest takeaways was, You have to be friends with your art materials. Natutunan niya to from one of our mentors, Sir Ian De Jesus. According to Sir Ian, one of the first things you need to do as a beginner is to know your materials before you use them. So, how does this look? You swatch your paints, you test your paper, you do your brush exercises. Every time you have new materials, you go through this process again and again. And you continue to practice your basic techniques. Techniques like wet on wet or wet on dry or negative painting. The problem we see with most beginners is that masyado silang excited. Hindi pa nga nag-swatch ng bagong watercolor set, diretso na sa pag-paint right away. It takes time to get to know your watercolor supplies properly. Huwag tayo masyadong impatient. All good things take time and that includes developing the right skills to truly bring out the potential of your art supplies. If you want to level up your watercolor journey and work with our pro watercolor mentors, then we invite you to sign up to our online watercolor painting course. 
kahit no experience, okay lang. From learning about the right watercolor supplies, to learning the basic techniques, to painting stunning florals, landscapes, and portraits, we'll teach you everything you need to know. You'll get personalized feedback from pro watercolor experts who have decades of experience. Plus, you'll be with a supportive community of fellow aspiring artists who are in this journey with you together. Ready ka na ba? You can book a consultation call with us to see if this is a good fit. The link to sign up is in the description. In the meantime, make sure to check out this video on the top 10 basic watercolor techniques you need to know as a beginner. 